that dollar back waiting on the second round. Hey man, somebody wait for the train. I need 15 more dollars. <laughs> y'all stick with it. Y'all know there's somebody out there. Hey man, if you got it, don't put it back. Hey man.
did that just a couple more verses. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's 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 it. <laughs> Amen, amen, amen. Let's get him a hand and come with the next one.
tonight to be on the grounds and thank God. That the grounds is not on us, it's good for us to be here. Amen. And, uh, always good to be in the house of the Lord. To God be the glory. Uh, the things that He has done. To the angel of this house, about a big hand for Pastor Kevin. For all of my co neighbors and colleagues, the gospel into officials of this church and officers from other churches that be in the home of ministers of God, and to all of the household of faith. God is good. Amen. And he's worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun, God is worthy. Somebody shall praise the Lord. Come on, give him a big praise tonight. Lord, if you move, I'll fall. Jesus, you, Jesus. 
In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for the night of joy. Come up in the morning and get discovered if you tolerate it. He'll eliminate it. Look, if you put up with it, and look up with it, you won't have to get up with it. Tuesday night, Psalms 122. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord and we got a message that when you're sincere, you'll be glad before you get here. Some folk can't get happy till they get here. But when you're sincere, you'll get happy at the house. You got to understand that that there must be some preparation yes. at your house. Yes. Then you can get some restoration in this house and find consolation in this house. Last night, we was in Psalms 107, two. Oh, the one and two, oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his mercy endured. Ever. Let the redeem of the Lord. It didn't say beg the redeem. Make the redeem. It said let the redeem of the Lord says so. Those that have been taken out of the hand of the enemy. We got a message last night. If you know you ought to say so. Amen. If you know. You all say, say. says so. Tonight I want to go in Psalms 23. <laughs> Fourth verse, 23rd book. You can hold your seats tonight. Men of us know it without looking. It say, yea, though I won't. The battle of the shadow of death. I would fear no evil for thou art with me. A rod and that stand to comfort me. I want to talk just briefly tonight about how to see heaven. Why are you catching hell? Touch that neighbor, said we need to know how to see some heaven. Why are we catching hell? 
say amen in this Tonight, my sisters and brothers, I, I want us to first understand that in this life, there must be trials and tribulations. Oh, yeah. right. Suffering is a part of the journey. You can live on a street called heaven, you still gonna catch some hell. There's nothing wrong with catching hell as long as hell don't catch you. And some of us tonight have caught enough hell until we know what hell catching is all about. But the power pack of a believer is knowing how to see heaven. Why are you catching hell? Knowing how to joy in your sorrow. Laughed in your tears. Knowing how to stand up when folk try to make you sit down. Knowing how to have peace in the midst of your storm. I've shared it before with you, New Salem, that the real saints are not those that shout when the bills are paid. Real Christians are those that can shout when the bills are due. Lord don't need no home run here. He needs some pressure play. Folk that can play under pressure. People that can speak to your soul and say, soul don't worry. Lord will make a way. Somehow have I got a witness here. Tonight I wanted to share this because hell catching is on all of our agenda. I don't care how nice you are. There are some folk don't thank you that night. I don't care how many people like to see you coming. There's a few like to see you going. Must understand it's part of the mission. It's part of our agenda. When you actually think about why do we have storms and trials, tribulations and trouble? It's simply because a faith that can't be tested can't be trusted. And if you real in your faith, then you can stand the test of time. You've got to be able to know how to handle uh, the enemy, how to react when the enemy attack. Yes. Yes. Got to know Amen. that when we come to the house of the Lord, Amen. that that worship is in order regardless of what state we're in. <laughs> and if I can just share it with you a minute, see, quiet moments is when we catch in hell. That gives you a disposition on making an indictment to the Lord when you come to worship but you're a redeemer that won't say so. All because you're going through a little something. Just because Ah, uh, you're not somebody's favorite. Still should not hinder you from seeing heaven. Y'all are with me tonight. And the picture I just want to show you and draw to you tonight is we've got to know how to see heaven. Why are we catching 
hell. Preach it. You don't have to walk past folk and don't speak because you you're going through something. You don't have to sit quiet because uh, you don't feel good. Because if the truth be told, there's some saints in here tonight. I tell you, if you learn how to see heaven while you're catching hell, right. hell won't bother you. See, some of us wear our hell catching on our face. You let it ride you. Folk can see it on you. We got to be able to know how to see heaven in the midst of catching hell. I'm halfway finished with this. David says here, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that's hate. Cause uh, the shadow of death is a death feature but not actually death it looks like hell but it's not really hell because it's the shadow of death it's not death it's the shadow I've never seen anybody handcuff a shaft Never seen a shadow being pronounced dead. Shadow is the form of what it is. It's the phase work. Vanishing picture of what's walking. David said the shadow of death. Is a blow. Death is nothing to us but a shadow. I've said this before. Ah, uh, my young lad days, about 12 years old, and I got scars now where we would uh, had a ditch going to school that we could kind of jump. Well, we, we put a bridge down. We was too lazy to walk all the way around the street. So between two yards was a ditch. We built a bridge where we can walk across, you know, past the folk yard, cross the bridge, and we at the school. You know, uh, when you get a plane, <laughs> Somebody always interfere with it. This man, Mr. Warren, bought a big dog. <laughs> Killing the play. <laughs> Worked hard, ranch, building that bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now here's a dog to intercept the plane. Well, I wasn't going to let that stop me. Yeah, with my bad set. Till I discovered that dog was really too big for me to fool with. <laughs> But what I what I did, I went the opposite side of the house, and I decided I just jumped the ditch. Forget the bridge. The dog gonna guard the bridge. Yeah, I, I can jump the ditch. I told some of my friends, I'm a little smart rascal. I jumped the ditch for we. Before we built the bridge. <laughs> but it looked like every 
evening that dog knew what time I was coming. He'd be on post waiting. But I was determined I wasn't walking around the block. And I would take off the running and the dog would sure enough come growling, looking hungry. Uh, and I would jump the ditch, but I got scarred up pretty bad a many days. After doing that for about a month, Mr. Warren seen or heard that I was getting bruised up pretty bad. He was out there one evening. He said, look strong, come in. Oh, dog bad. I said, no. That dog know me. He said, I'll come here. Grab the dog and kind of roll the dog. Just sit on him. I said, you got him? He said, I got him. I ain't coming all the way there, but I, I, we can talk. <laughs> he said, Strong, why, why are you running, jumping? The ditch? I said, well, I didn't, I didn't know you had a problem with us building the bridge. He said, I don't. I said, but the dog do. <laughs> Who bought the dog? <laughs> said, well, I would already had this dog. It's just come out of the animal care. I said, okay. I said, he said, why are you running? I said, I'm scared of the dog. I said, let me show you something. Come here. I said, no, I, I, I got you. He pulled the gum, the, the lips up of the dog. And nothing but gum. <laughs> in the dog's mouth. I said, how long have the dog yeah, been without teeth? He said, ever since this dog was a puppy, the dog was hit by 18 willow, lost all of his teeth for life. This dog is, is just an exciting dog, right. but he have no teeth. Right. And immediately I thought about that's what death is like. Mm -hmm. Jesus at Calvary was the 18 wheeler. He snatched stain right. out of death. I wish I had a witness. A shot. Oh, yeah. It's a bluff. Yeah, yeah. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Trying to hunt somebody that say, ain't that song? Yeah. When you're saved in Jesus, yeah. death is a bluff. Yeah. Saints don't die. Yeah. We move. Yeah. 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 I got some witnesses here. If they're saying you ought to act like it. So when you walk now through the shadow of death, even though death can come at any time, see, death is what we call Sleep. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Because at one time, Jesus had to explain, mm -hmm. even to the boys that had been hanging out with it, because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. they couldn't understand spiritual talking. <laughs> when Mary and Martha sent for Jesus. When Lazarus was sick, Lord told him, say Lazarus, sleep. They said if he sleep, it doing well. Jesus had to plainly tell him. That's in, in carnal terms. That Lazarus 
was dead. But I want us to know that even if you're afraid of shadows, if you can't comprehend that death is a bluff, then you need to have some witch to even cover that kind of thing. They would say, hey, no, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I heard him say, I fear no evil. I'm not afraid of it because thou are with me. The Lord is with me. That rod, that stand, that comfort me. All of my weapons is in Jesus. Whatever I need to conquer the shadow is in the Lord. Somebody ain't got it yet. While I'm walking, everything I need is in the Lord. That rod, that staff, it comfort me. They comfort me in my shadow walk. It's my rod. He's my staff. He has all of that in my behalf. Why should I feel? Another psalm in Texas we did it with Psalm, Psalm 27. Said the Lord is my life. I ain't gonna do it this long tonight. My salvation. Whom shall I Fear. Lord, just check in my life. Whom shall I be afraid of? When the enemy, my, when the wicked and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, I just stood there. They all stumbled. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. When you got the law, they even said the Lord is with me. See, we got to understand that everything look bad ain't bad. Helps you to deal with going through the storm. Are y'all with me here? Tonight, my sisters and brothers, see in heaven why you're catching hell. Yeah. It's simply saying you got to learn mm -hmm. how to praise him in your yeah. situation. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever going on in your life, yeah. don't allow it to distract you yeah. because it can't destroy you. Yeah. May make you bitter, but it'll make you better. Yeah. 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 Come on. Then I got a witness here. Yeah. I looked at this and I saw this paraphrase that I want to give you a few points what I see. First of all, all of us would have to go through. That's number one. Everybody in here got to go through. Go on, let them laugh at you now. They got some go through days too. It's funny now too. But they got a day. You have to be careful trying to snitch and make fun of folk that go through. Cause in order for God to make us, send this life that must be trials and tribulations. So all of us got to go through. Touch your neighbor said you got to go through. Every day won't be Sunday here. Some of your best friends could possibly be your worst enemy. Because 
it's been mandated yeah. that we go through. Yeah. Are y'all with me here? Yeah. Houses can burn down. Yeah. Cars can break down. Yeah. Help can run down. Yeah. Money can run out. Yeah. You gotta understand, go through days. Yeah. It's on everybody's agenda. Yeah. Oh, you better check somebody else say you got to go through it. Oh, somebody think leave because you got God's divine redemption. That you have trouble exemption. You're not exempt from trouble because you got Jesus. A good saint will tell you that's when trouble really starts. Have I got a witness here? Oh, I'm happy tonight because I understand to go through but if God is going to make you if you're going to be what he wants you to be you're going to have to go through but number two you got to understand if you can see heaven while you're catching hell when you go through just to know you're going through yeah that's number two you going through even though I go through I'm going through. I wait on you there. Yeah. Even though I'm, I go through. Yet, I'm going through. I don't have to park in my valley. I don't have to stop at the rest area in my valley because I'm going. For you to catch somebody, tell them that I am going through. And see, this this is it's unique method, uh, unique uh, theology. It's to know that in the midst of going through, I'm going through. In the midst of what I'm dealing with, I'm still moving. In the midst of my tears, I'm still moving. Of my burdens, I'm still moving. Have I got a witness here? Yeah, in the midst of people lying on me, talking about me, play a hate. I'm still going. Oh, high five, somebody say, I'm going. See him. 
heaven. Yes. Why are you catching hell? Let me close this. I'm wrapping this up. God is a good God. I'm looking at somebody tonight that can really say, I'm going through. I really don't know what you go through. But you can really win this saying, I'm going through. Real saints know how to really say, I've gone through. Y'all let me close here. What I'm saying tonight is, I've gone through the fire. Yes, she was. And why she was coming out? Rain was falling. Lightning was flashing. Thunder was rolling. Looking at the rain fall, storm is a raging. She hear a horn, somebody blowing way down the street. Yeah, and she hear a mother said, Come on, little Betty. I can't get no closer. Little Betty came out the building. Start flashing, and when the lightning would flash, the Betty would look up and smile at the lightning. Her mama blew again and said, Come on, out of that storm. She'd take a few more steps, and when she take a few more steps, lightning would flash again. The Betty would look up. And at the lightning, her mama said, Get in here. Finally, she got to the car, got in the car, and I heard, I heard her mama say, Little Betty, why was you playing in the storm? It's a bad thing to play in the lightning. 
when she looked at her, she said, Mama, I was not playing. She said, Yes, you was. Every time the lightning struck, you look up and laugh. She said, Oh, Mama, that was Jesus taking my picture. Are y'all praying with me here? She said, Girl, why with the Lord? Wanna take your picture? She said, Mama, he wants to see what I look like when I'm going through a storm. Somebody here is going through, but I want you to know God is watching. You need to show him what you look like when you're going through your storm. And then anybody here can pray the Lord. Can you see heaven? Why are you catching hell? If you're not afraid, stand up on your feet. Turn, catch a neighbor by the hand. That's a neighbor. Thank God tonight. I'm lining. Can I see heaven? While I'm catching hell. That's a neighbor. Whatever it is you're going through. Oh, 
church on for the amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't leave, don't leave somebody. Tell somebody thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, and yes. Neighbor, look at him and tell him that. Take me out. He know how long 
me, let me stay. You'll never, never, never.
Yes, and thank you, Jesus. Father, we come tonight saying thank you again. Thank you again. Thank you again. Thank you again, thank you again Jesus. For another year. Since we last was here, Lord. So many have gone on, but we still here. Well, let's say thank you right now. <laughs> so every year carries a number. Somebody go that was here last year. Thank you, Jesus. We don't know what next year gonna bring, but right now we say thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being good to us. Thank you this week. You let no hurt or harm or danger come. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the souls that you bless. In Jesus' name. Thank you for your word today. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Eat Thank you for your grace. Now, Lord, we needed a revival. I needed a revival. Thank you for blessing me. Let me know if I tolerate it. You'll eliminate it. Thank you for letting me know when I'm sincere. I'll be glad before I get here. Thank you for letting me know if I know so I will say so. Thank you for teaching me how to see heaven while I'm catching hell. Then, Lord, teach us how to be still while we do your will. Satan is under the attack of those of us that can destroy his kingdom. But we want to see greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Now, Lord, bless Pastor Johnson. Touch him right now, Jesus. Right now, Jesus. Give him strength, Lord. Right now in the name of Jesus. Touch Sister Johnson right now. Give us strength right now. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. Bless the children, Lord. Dear Lord, bless New Salem. Bless them, Lord, to be obedient to your word. Let this week not pass the note. Let somebody here heed to your word. Let this church be a better place of worship. We rebuke any spirit that's not of you, Lord. Pastor Branch and his church and Calhoun and Rams and all the other pastors in their congregation church right now, Jesus. Dear Lord, don't forget your honor, sir. Thank you for me, Lord. Thank you for blessing me. Thank you for using me. Continue to keep my humble in your word. You said he that humbles himself shall be exalted. Thank you for keeping my wife and children while I'm gone. Thank you for the brothers that came with me. Their companions. Thank you now, children. In the name of Jesus. And I want to thank you for the surrounding areas. Surrounding churches. Surrounding people. Came to hear your word. We thank you right now. Bless us now, Lord. 
in Jesus' name. Dear Lord, tomorrow give us traveling grace. Don't co pilot and beat a pilot. Fly the plane safely home. Lord, we thank you. Yeah, hey. Now, Lord, we need traveling grace tonight. Ride with the ride and walk with the walk. This message from this place, but never from the presence. Now, may the grace of God, the sweet command of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, abide with us henceforth and forevermore. Let us all sing together. You can stop by the media booth in the back and place your order. And Brother Henry will fulfill your order.